So we found out in this week's episode of Lance No Mascara that the chief is called Dai Fai Sun, but I would keep referring to her as the chief. And man, she's pretty powerful because when she wasn't serious, she smacked Yuriko into the wall. And I thought that it was over because Yuriko didn't move when uh, the chief said to her, I guess that uh, this decided and that your Yotaro is mine. And she kept repeating that. However, the reason for that, I think, was because she wanted to motivate Yuriko. Because Yuriko, from what I understand of the flashback, she basically are to ensure that Yo Yotaro gets together with Makio, who is the one he is destined to be with. But that keeps a little problem because it seems like she likes him from the flashback. However, she knows this is wrong and therefore she want to ensure that no one gets him, basically. So she only ends up with the one he is destined to end up with, which I presume is Makio. And that of course causes a problem with for Saya if she was trying to get Yotaro or any of the other girls. Which is most likely also why she is basically that way, you know, basically with the whip when there is another girl near Yotaro except for Makio. So, yeah, that explains a lot. It also explains why she is so powerful and mad. It is also shown in this because when the chief and her is fighting, serious man, and the conclusion, man, oh man, that is so sick. When, um, man, Yoriko, she almost gets impaled and the chief, well, she ends up looking like she's dead. But I'm pretty sure she isn't dead. Else, man, oh. That, I think that's the first death we have in this series, you know, as shown on screen. And man, that scene, man, with her basically looking dead, that pisses off Dokon so much that I really hope Yotaro is ready to fight him serious because, man, he is pissed. He is ready to ram his lance through Yotaro and Yuriko, who is very exhausted after the fight. So, yeah, that's, man, that's gonna be something to see in the next week's episode. But there, of course, did also happen other things, because Shadow Saber, or you think she fought Hane, and Hane, when I saw the scene where she basically um, put out two blades on her weapon, I thought it was for attack however it seems to be so she can basically swing around the uh, object and attack it from behind that at least what, what I can see from this uh, episode and you think she managed to defeat it but it was only because she basically pumped herself up by saying she is Nightlancer's daughter so she cannot lose and she basically goes all out with a a charge where she basically puts everything in and managed to defeat Hane, but she's also kind of defeated. Then we have Ming and Sylvia. And Ming, those chakras, they are pretty nasty. And we find out that, shall we say, <sighs> what she called Sylvia, she's using a gun blade, but she don't want to use the gun part of it because she feels that that is either it's connected to a past when she was a part of Bang, or it was something her, that belongs to her father. I'm not entirely sure. It was a little bit confusing, the flashback. But man, if it wasn't because of that, she would have lost because the only reason she won over Ming was that she was able to def basically destroy all her chakrams, which apparently was the weapon. And then... Ming knew that before she could even attack her, she would have been shot by uh, Sylvia. So yeah, interesting, really interesting. And then we have Gilhansa versus Yuyan and Alice. And we find out that Alice, the way she became this strong and able to stand up against Gilhansa at least a little bit, because she couldn't defeat him alone, she actually needed Yuyan, she helped, helped her for that. Um, that was because she was taught hand-to-hand -hand combat by Konjiro. 
So yeah, pretty pretty more interesting. It also makes Yuyan a bit jealous because he never asked the the Conjuro for trainings. Even thought he most likely would have received it if he had asked. But man, I must say, Alice wins this episode because that Alice charge, man, that Alice charge, that was victory, man. That was victory. The way she won. Oh, man, that was so nice. And I feel like, oh, yeah. Shiro Hime shows up in this week's episode, and I wonder how did she get on this island? Because I think then they leave her behind uh, on the you know the mainland, didn't they? I'm pretty sure they did, but then again, maybe she will show. Maybe she will have some purpose. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, but so far, all I can say is. A really interesting episode, but still nothing special. So hopefully something good will come up next week's episode. But until next time, see you and have a good day, good night, everyone. Cheers, guys. More girls.